gonna find that out. <laughs> you just gonna take the win? Yeah. Take the W right off into the sunset. Look at Here the right we are, hand. you know what the music means. Pistol round is coming live. Na'Vi taking on Vitality. Third and final map. It all comes down to this. Loser go home. Winner plays phase for a chance for a chance at the grand finals tomorrow. And we're gonna get it started. As we said, Tech 9 on simple, one flashbang on Boomich, and this is gonna be fast paced. All right to the ramp room. Shox is here, sensing the danger. He's gonna start to fall back. Samuel, seeing if he can snipe someone away as they're trying to make their way down. They're going to be at the B-bomb site real soon. Electronic goes down. Simple on the other side. What a great headshot coming up from Shox. Big double kill before they finally take him down. And that might actually change this a little bit. Masuto showing up there at the vents. Yeah, they know that he's there already. The bomb is dropped a little bit further back, so someone has to go back and pick it up. And I'll be K. Does he know? Oh god, this is real interesting. Yeah, there's the final pickup. They're fighting up here. In the meantime, they have plenty of time to do this, but they're running out of players and maybe out of health a little bit too. Apex is next to go down, and this is just an ongoing battle all over this B-bomb site. It never seems to stop. A minute left now, and there's the opening. Masuta blows open the door with a headshot on Simple. At least the bomb is down, but Masuta will continue. Oh, and he's gonna pick up the last one. That is some absolute style. That is some great shooting from Masuta, especially because for the longest time, Navi and Vitality, they couldn't figure out exactly how they wanted to approach that round. Vitality could not coordinate the two players already dropped down lower and the two players in ramp room, and Navi couldn't coordinate an attack to actually pick up that bomb, and it all started because of this sequence from Shox. What a great double kill to get things started. Yeah, that was spectacular. I don't know, like... Once that fight got started at the ramp, it, it just felt like it went on for 45 seconds of just, you know, people chipping away at each other, some headshots in the here and there, but it never really calmed down. Oh, look at Saiwoo. He's got the op already. <laughs> He's ready to go. AWP, full head armor as well. Oh, cool. dear. And Apex yeah, with the orc. Why not? <laughs> Okay, so they got rich real quick. Missed shot. Oh man, if I'm Navi, I'm doing a full send. I I take away all the intelligence of this round and I go rip that up out of his hands. Yeah. Just that if you can get that alone, it would be so worth it. Apex is here to cover him though. I really, really like this org on Apex. I just think he's so good with it. How simple will take him down. So that's a bit of a shame. That means he's not gonna be having it right away Ooh, and the window somehow blocking much of that there's the pickup three versus four and now they probably need to calm down a little bit vitality remember that now we do actually need to get to a bomb site before any of this gets really out of control even if they have this outside area and the org no reason to get too crazy yeah this is where you run the good old-fashioned turtle strategy. You yeah. hunker down in your shell of a bomb site and don't do anything. Oh, but Masuta offers himself up. Three on three now. This is becoming costly. RPK. And this is this is one of the more expensive rounds I've seen a CT side invest in round number two. The AWP and the AUG in this flank, turning the corner. Oh, that's a great shot. Long range. He's going to get all three. Make sure there's no more danger. He couldn't pick up the AUG, though. It was too far away. But yeah, you're right. I mean, they bought expensive rifles and they lost a bunch of them. And also just seem, again, they didn't seem to at any point be able to call themselves off of doing this. They really felt like they just, that they wanted to keep going, felt pressure to do so. And now we are going to buy into this round, obviously. So that could continue here. AUG is still in play on Saibu, I guess. Critically, that is what we're going to be looking for to see if he can have a big impact early on. And Apex will actually have the Orc. He's gone back for it. His trusty weapon. Smokes outside. We saw Zaiwu in round two miss a couple shots that he normally hits, so off not looking on point for the moment, but maybe it was just a one-round aberration. Electronics gonna get close up towards warehouse, looking over the smoke, looking for Zaiwu, in fact. Not gonna find him there. So he successfully has control at top secret. He's used all of his utility. Remember the last time we saw Navi on this map, they kept getting Electronic into secret, and then they weren't sure what to do with it. It's like they had him there, but but there was no plays being made really behind it. So hopefully Navi will fix that uh, in the interim here. 
Yeah, we'll find out. They have to take shocks out of this boost. Two flashes in, neither of them affect shocks. Molotov towards elbow. They have the space, they have the safety to clear out this boost. Flamey swings for it, needs to be a trade. Sippo can't find it just yet. 62 HP, he does eventually get the headshot. It took some time and it took some HP, but now they can't put electronic into play. He's, he's walking up, but if he, if he could open the door and start this attack on Apex, that would be perfect, but it's going to be the rest of them leading it, and Apex will take a quick shot there to drop Perfecto. 19 seconds. Electronic now only just about to open the door, and Boomich goes down. There was Electronic, but Apex will drop him to a brilliant triple with that org. I, I just... I'm a real fan of it. Man... I'm, yeah, the AUG's fine on Apex. That's an awful round from Navi. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> well, where's the attack? Where's the actual attack once you get here to ramp room? It's like everyone's actually scared to be the first one to initiate. You know, Electronic was slow playing himself in secret. Fair play. There could be someone at stairs. There could be someone watching for the cross, but he was there the whole round. Once Flamey goes in first, Apex gets that kill, and he's got like three seconds before the second player even peeks him. And there's 20 seconds on the clock. It's like Navi gains control of ramp room with that kill on shocks, and then everyone has to wait 10 seconds to talk it over. It's like there's a leadership by committee going on. And I, I don't know where the disconnect, but it's slowing everything down. It's giving defenders chances for multi-kills, and it's allowing defenses to rotate into the proper position. Yeah, it's look, it, I, I completely agree. It definitely is a bit disturbing because once you have the ramp room and you have a guy that's that's already down on the B side from the from the secret stairs, that should be like a, a, a one big crunch, right? You should be able to just lock in whatever, whoever's defending yeah. there and take them out. And if, and if Electronic had been aggressive in that in that stance at Secret Stairs, he might have even just had a free kill as Apex was in the middle of the ramp. Yeah. He might have just been able to open the door and be like, oh, look, that's, that's the backside. That's a free kill. And then all of a sudden you have the bombsite and you have the round. But it almost feels like there's there's some level of uh, hesitance out of Navi that we're not getting from other teams. Shox has found a first kill, Zywoo with another one. And there's Boomich wrapping from behind and now aggressing through the smoke. Yeah, Shox definitely didn't realize that, th that he had already uh, made his way past the box there. So a bit interesting, but which is actually real close to Saibu. This could get uh, incredibly awkward. He's hearing the scoping shortly. Oh, but he's so quick. I don't know. I get it. He pr Maybe he was hoping they double scoped or something. That wasn't the case. And it's going to be the end of the round anyway here. So not bad at all. Just losing shocks to uh, the initial kill there. 4 and 0 oh in favor of Vitality. Money back in the hands of Na'Vi, but... I don't know. We are going to need to see a, an adjustment, a change for the Navi side here, or this is going to be a real ugly first half. Yeah, well, I mean, they certainly... Uh, you, you outlined it perfectly against Complexity. Electronic able to get control of Secret and outside, but never able to do anything with it. And the first glimpse we had of it here against Vitality, the same thing happened. He gets control of Secret, but he, he fails to have any impact on the round. Smoke is going to come out, but Apex is already close up. Oh, no. He's going to catch Electronic with Smoke and Hand, and Electronic is lucky to be alive, and that might end right here. The nade is perfect. Apex is committed. He's got another one. Huge double. Yeah. The grenade chased one of them down and took another player in the mix as well. That is great, and what a grenade at the feet of Perfecto. That's just Saiwuth tossing one randomly into the smoke, but it connects real well. Shocks down here, goes into a bit of an aggressive move. Close up to Simple, and Simple's actually waiting for it. This could be brilliant, and yeah, he's gonna get a kill. And that's, I don't know, four versus three? I guess he wanted to be there to make up for the fact that Apex had gone down outside, but maybe didn't need to. And they're still being aggressive, Vitality. They're doing this a lot. Even when they're at a lead, that could actually backfire heavily. Well, they can also they can also find a free kill onto Flamey as they flank him. Will they be aware of this possibility? Flamey's not considering the lobby push at all. He should be a freebie. Drops into vents. But the op and dark on Zaiwu, this is the real danger point. And I think now even Misuta in ramp room is going to be there so quick with support. Even a Molotov remaining for Zaiwu, he could drop it towards door and it'd be all over, but he's got the op out, he flicks over, sees the door, not prepared, he launches into the sky, but this is, once again, just taking so long, RPK is able to get into position, and Simple's too low to plant the bomb, Flamey's gotta cover him, and he's not ready for the door opening, and Simple is gonna lose, he's gonna go down, and 5 to nothing for Vitality.
Oh, I'm so... I'm so mentally split between whether I... I want Vitality to be aggressive in some of these to, you know, keep the pressure on. Or if it, I can't figure out if I think it might be too much. I don't mind this early on, but I think in a four on a three like they just were in, oh, it's making me real nervous. Good recovery after all, but that could have maybe spiraled out of control. We're seeing three Tech Nines being picked up now. It's catching on. It's spreading. It's contagious. Upper rush through the flames. RPK drops, but he's got cover. Masuta and Zaiwu get the first two kills to give him space for safety. He goes down anyways, but Zaiwu's not going to miss, and he's not... Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, God. The vent has saved his life. He's still stuck, and he's still just being a target. He's he's just bait at this point. He yeah. still gets three kills. <laughs> grenade. That was close. 6-0, and oh, though, in favor of Vitality. Now, now we have money again, but... Those solutions that we were asking for earlier have not really presented themselves just yet. Top fraggers on the Navi side are perfecto and simple at four kills each, and then it gets uh, much worse. The rest of them combined have another four kills. So not that great at the moment. All right, well. Flamey blinded and oh cover of smoke. He's gone right past shocks. This is this is awkward. Oh no, shocks did you not hear that? He didn't hear that hit Flamey, but Flamey still has no idea. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> and Shock still comes out on top. Yeah, that could have gone a bunch of different ways. Molotov to try and put some pressure on Apex, but oh it's gonna be spreading, and he's very late to put that out. I can't believe he's alive. So I think he was waiting and saying, no, nah, it's probably not. Oh, it is ready. Oh, dear. Where's the response from Navi? We need it soon. The money's likely going to start growing. A five on four for Vitality. And Zaiwu's parked himself in CT spawn, so he's watching for the flank. That frees up the rest of the defense to move around the map. They're taking control of lobby just like last round. They see absolutely no one here. Apex is going to be down below. With that information, Shox is going to move down below. And the likelihood of this hit working oh, but look at RPK. Is, is, slowly, is creeping to nothing. They've just checked out all of lobby. They know no one is there. There's 25 seconds, Navi. Why the time... It's still a factor. It's still important. You must get to the bomb site before it runs out. 15 seconds. They're, they're finally doing it, but it's real, real late here. 10 seconds on the clock as they make their way onto the site with the bomb, and Simple will get the kill. Boomich with seven seconds left, opening the door, and no bomb plant is allowed, and that's the end of it. Shox just has to stay alive, and he will. This is so devastating. It's it's so silly at this point. I'm losing. I, I, I don't have any other way to describe it anymore. I can't do it. <laughs> Everything even went right. They got two kills. <laughs> Everything that possibly could have gone right in that round for Navi entering the bomb site at 12 seconds went right. And they still lose the round because there's just no time to overcome anything. I, and here's the other issue. With the round taking that long, there's a reason Vitality is pushing into lobby because <laughs> nice double from Zaiwu. They're just shitting all over Navi at this point. A triple kill. Zaiwu's <laughs> just a god. <laughs> if it takes this long for Navi to decide to hit a bomb site, Vitality is of course going to go get all the information. They're going to be prepared for a 15 second hit at the lower bomb site. Yeah. My god. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Seven and no. A triple kill with the AWP to begin the round with. This is such a such a ridiculous beginning. I don't know, it's it's uh it's uncanny, some of the series we've seen Navi in, where it's like they have a limit. It's like they can only put one complete map together. <laughs> it's happened in, in, in the series they've, they lost against Complexity. It was a dominant first map, and then nothing on the next two. Here again. Yeah, the collapse is 
is real, uh, real heavy once it's coming in. Fourth kill for Cyrus with the AWP, and he'll go down eventually, but it doesn't really matter. They'll save the AWP, and they're up 8 and 0 oh with. <laughs> He didn't even care that he got hit in the face with a Molotov. That is such a cool triple kill. Look at the flames everywhere as well. All right. Well, it's time for Navi to dig deep. I've, I'm just not even sure what it will take here. This is, this is one of those things where... You need some mistakes, some vitality. You need you need one or two individuals here for Navi to 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 sort of guide the way back. You'd have to be looking at simple and electronic uh, right now. They're at four and five kills, not not doing terribly badly in that sense, but but you need individual rounds here, something that that can really get the the team back in focus. I want some aggression. I want. I don't want to see a walk key pressed. <laughs> let's see if. Let's see if Navi can do it. Perfecto towards ramp room. Electronic outside, but very far back. Boomich up on the silo for the moment. Looks like they want to pressure towards shock. Perfecto and simple. That duo challenging ramp room, and this is nice. Early on in the half as well, they've four shocks down below already. Molotov is out so they can gain control of ramp room. And now what do you do with it? Well, Apex is holding this with the Org, and he's going to get a straight headshot taking down Simple. Not being caught by Electronic falling back out from that position. He's down to fight Saiwu, which only lasts about a split second. And against that AWP, bit of an off angle at the stairs. So now it's a three on five. Wow, they're getting so picked apart. Misuto with the double kill. Spam through to catch Perfecto. He almost takes him down. This is Osh looking so good. Now caught with the reload, but what does it even matter in the end? 9-0 and in favor of Vitality. This is... I don't know. It seems like Navi have just vacated the server almost. Uh, yeah, this is this is one of the uglier T sides we've seen at Blast Premier. Uh, you, I mean, let's look at the first three kills. We just saw those two. The first one from Zaiwu. Second one, one player walking out squeak with no utility, with no one to trade. The first kill of the round was simple in ramp room walking towards underneath heaven, just peeking elbow, walking into it with no utility and no teammate there to trade. There's, I mean. You're not giving... It feels like Navi's not giving themselves a chance to even fight for this map. Yeah. Well, that's the problem, right? Because, you know, if they win the pistol on the second half or something like that, and start to make a comeback, you're going to you're gonna have that feeling of like, why didn't we just do a little bit on the first half, even just anything to, to give us the opportunity? <laughs> Dude, the way this half is going, that's not even going to be a thought in their mind. It's <laughs> This is looking like... They're not even going to be able to do anything for the. They're not even have a chance to get involved in this game. Absolute shutdown. Apex back at it again. Doing a fine job with the double. When kill you think round. about it, when you think about it too. I mean, I mentioned that. You know, it seems like Navi and some of their series are only allowed to have one good map. They haven't even had one good map in this series. The first half of Inferno was was not very yeah. good as well. It was only the second half where they just wiped it clean. They got battered. Vitality's like gotta almost be scratching their head and be like, how the hell did we let this team take us to a third map? Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Sort of looking back at it, you start to feel like maybe that wasn't that wasn't the awesome sign that it did for a minute look like it could have been. Pretty good headshot from Simple with the Deagle. He's got the AWP, but he's in a very, very tricky position, obviously. Yeah, caught out in the middle of it. It's not really his fault. Triple for Apex and a tenth round on the board. You know who you know who's the real victim here, Jason? Us? Maniac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is so ridiculous. How has this actually worked out for you? You've literally, literally woke up and opened WhatsApp and it was just a message from Anders saying, I want the opposite of Maniac's picks. And it's actually working. <laughs> it is good, isn't it? I had to do it. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, so stupid. 10 to nothing. Molotovs are out. Fast tactics are not in the card for Navi. Oh, dear. how many of these last five do they need to win, Anders? I mean, can we just have one round? Well, how about that? <laughs> Let's start with one. We'll see where it goes. Electronic down to 51 HP. It looked like Zaiwu threw a box through a wall. And ooh, oh my lord, it just doesn't get any better. Electronic is a freebie. He never had a chance. They've got to be wondering too, like, why? Why, you know, why even just through the smoke, like, <laughs> random kills coming out? So we're trying to wall bang it, First trying to make the box, things worse. And then through the smoke. Yeah, just it gets worse and worse. Now he's down inside. That will create a little bit of a space maybe for uh, for Navi to have a bit of a victory on the outside of the map. Apex is down on the lower part of the map, so 48 seconds. Listen, maybe I'm reading into this too much, but if you want to talk about a game plan, Vitality's got a god tier one. Yeah. This, is, this is the third time we've seen them push into lobby. At like at like just after one minute, and they find everything. Like Jason. okay, Navi's not in lobby. No, they're out in the garage with fit twenty-five seconds. I, I I don't know what's happening. They can't win the round. <laughs> We've got nineteen seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb, isn't it? I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what I don't. I have no words. And even <laughs> simple <stuff. laughs> even even when you're execu executing at 15 seconds, you're executing through a smoke. Like at least if you're gonna wait this long, please have done something to force the utility out ahead of time. Maybe they went and analyzed all know. of this, and you know we're at, we're looking at it. And we're saying, man, maybe if they were a little bit aggressive early in the round, they left them, left themselves some more time, and now we're like, maybe. If we execute like five seconds later, it, then they'll really never expect it. And it, <laughs> they just keep cutting off more seconds. You know what? The last thing they'll expect is us running strategies later in the round than we already are. I think uh, a smoke just missed for the wall, so... Classic. Oh, God. This is, it's, this is one of the worst T-sides I've seen in a long time, and I really feel bad about saying that, but this is horrendous. Zaiwu is going to get a nice kill, another chance, even... I mean, they got given a gift there, flashbang in his own face. Apex is still here with the hog, though, so whenever Zaiwu has a tough time, Apex is ready and waiting. Yeah, three on four right here. They're quite up fast spread out with Simple. Oh, missing a very easy kill, but he's going to make up for it anyway. It's all good. He got it. It's a three on three. Flamey is in the lobby with Perfecto and the bomb. They have 50 seconds. Right, guys, just wait 30 seconds and then we'll hit. Big opportunity. Simple following it up. RPK flashing his way into a fight, but Perfecto will take him down. And it's a one versus three against Shox. And he's already been Molotov'd out. So much better look. Good stuff. Sharks should just be saving the orb. Even if they have some money, I don't think there's any reason to go to for a one versus three retake here. That's, that's just giving away three money, basically. So, wow, 11 to one. That's, that's something. It's, it's a first step. Uh, I, I mean, they need all four. So we, we need them to build upon that. Sharks uh, with the op is just going to chill. Plenty of money for the vitality side. I think the only chance that Navi has, I mean, if they want an easier final round of this half, I think they'd have to win three straight, and then you'd finally have a Vitality that doesn't have the cash flow to buy. Terrorists win. I mean, what are the odds the first round they win is the one where they mess that smoke up outside and don't have a smoke wall? Yeah, I... That it that does sort of speak to, to the fact that n none of this seems particularly well-coordinated, and... Couple of you they catch out there, which is good news. But here we are. 13th round coming up. Navi with one on the board. They've set themselves up for a truly spectacular comeback again. If they can make it work, then you know we'll we'll all be impressed and and mystified at the same time, perhaps. <laughs> Molotov's out across the board. Electronic gonna slowly cross the secret. All right, he's gotten in this position. Perfecto simple. Heading towards ramp room. 
But uh, Zaiwu's already here. Shox is tucked into the corner to the right. This is going to be a tough part of the map to take. Zaiwu's just shifted away. So there's a moment of opportunity as Shox pushes in towards Radio Room. And they thought they may have already cleared that out, but he wins in prison afterwards. Simple could have easily gone down to that fight, but he's at 30 health. So now, I don't know. Just Apex downstairs, going to be coming up the ramp. Boomage with a nice flank from Heaven, and that's going to be a kill, but that's the bomb down. Cyber with the CSAT, 75, 45 seconds still. He's going to keep going and taking down Flamey, and Boomage and Electronic, they have really no health left to continue this fight. They are so dead. And that'll be a 12th round for Vitality, so... Yeah, all explodes in Navi's face right after that one round. Yeah, they can't build upon it. They can buy again. Flamey and Simple over 6k. Electronic at 4800. They have to buy, even if they didn't have all that money. The question is who's going to provide an opening for him. This is a great round. The swap to the AK-47. Follow-up headshot. Zaiwu just being such a beast. 15 kills on Zaiwu, 14 on Apex. That was a good meme face for shots. The, the stress and then the instant relief. If you try and jump around this corner, you you might you might be, you might be dead. He's not gonna make the jump. Fourteenth round, and this is just such a disaster for Navi. It's, it's hard to even really comprehend what is going on here. Yeah, and it's not even like domination out of Zaiwu. The first two maps, Apex has 42 kills, Shox has 41 kills. Those two guys have been playing so well. All day long, you add Zaiwu into the mix, and you can obviously see why Navi's having some issues. Three players outside for the Navi attack. Flamey waiting outside ramp room. Nice. Simple boosted up on top of the container to catch Zaiwu. And I mean, this is one of the tools they had, is Simple with the orbs. I think that's a call that he just makes, and you know what? Let me go and fight him, and, and if that works, we'll, we'll get somewhere. Four versus three. And with still some time on the clock, Boomish is out there. Ooh, and they're gonna catch Apex. That's a little bit uh, surprising. He just smoked off Mini. He should be able to check that all day. RPK sneaks in from behind to get him down. Now, two versus three. And Boomish is just walking right next to RPK on the other side of the wall. So this could get a bit interesting. Shox is downstairs. So it's all on RPK. If he can win the fight at Heaven, I mean, there's gonna be a lot of people coming for him. So pretty much just all seconds. on him. Plenty of time, don't worry. 15 seconds. Yeah, well, RPK might have the wrong read. They just come out of top just as he looked away. They're going to get it. That time, maybe the timing of the round fooled RPK to think they were going to be going lower. Shifted out of his position, and Shox has nothing to do. Just like the previous round, the Navi won. Shox, all he can do is save in a one versus three. Still money for Vitality to fight in the final round of the half, but it's going to be 12 to 2. I think... Possibly Vitality were a little bit confused in that round. You could see, I think Apex probably should have been able to, to at least look towards the squeak door there. But it's like they just lost track of what was actually going on. Shox is maybe going to be going down. Indeed he will. So that's a little bit upsetting, but they will have the money to uh, to put it all together anyway. So not the end of the world. Yeah, 12 to 2. 15th round is coming up here. No reason to be too upset, though. This is still a very, very a massive lead for Vitality. I don't know what order of comeback we're talking it'd about be, here for Navi. Yeah, it'd be hard to squander this one if you're Vitality going into the second half, especially the way that you've played now. I mean, the first half of Inferno, <laughs> the first half of this map, it'd be hard to give that one up. Even, even all of Overpass was spectacular as well. You really only had one bad half of Counter-Strike today. You would have to put in a lot of effort to lose it, in fact. You'd have to have a, a strategy. Yeah, you have to try. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> he threw the Molotov into the fence and it just uh, did nothing. I'm so confused. He was confused. I know. It's, it's fine. I'm confused. I've been confused this whole half. Boomich on the roof outside. Apex is in Garage Masuta at the Secret Stairs. Well, they've done good damage to Shocks. That's a start. Apex is back out here with the Org. 
And the bomb is quite far back on Flamey. Not that that's necessarily a problem yet or anything. Perfecto's got some good ramp control. They've set themselves up nice enough here, Navi, to be able to do something in the round. One good opening kill could definitely set them off to, uh, to a path for a third round, potentially. Apex is checking outside and really seeing no one, but that's... That's a bit of false information. They are going to be out there. It's just a question of timing, and he could be walking into certain death here. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe it. Boomich almost seeing him. This is so unreal. And finally, they're going to catch him. So now, surely, they're going to go 22 seconds left. Perfecto flanking around the backside, who's also up here, and he's going to make his way up the ladder. 16 seconds. Stop laughing, Jason. This is this is their time. Great spray down from the heavens, and now Misutra and Shock's going to be running. They can't really get close to the... Bomb plant, unfortunately, but the it's five seconds left. Again, it's it's slightly mental. The only, the only thing more shocking than them running down the clock to that level is the fact that they hadn't taken any damage and they hadn't been spotted by anyone on the map for that entire round. I actually half there to get them back. They they won a couple of rounds towards the end, but it's just nowhere near enough. It's so hard to imagine this could be a comeback. They're gonna have to win the pistol round at the very, very least, and I mean, we're all very skeptical at this point in time, but let's see what they bring. Misuta gonna be jumping over the roof on Mini, and did spot out a player, hoping to get a quick shot. They're gonna be just exploding out in the yard. Electronic with a good kill, but they'll get a return. A second one comes through. Oh, he's lining oh. them up nicely. Hasn't even reloaded yet. He wants the quad. It'll be Flamey to help him out with a little bit, but there it is. That is so well done. If one thing is going to power this comeback from Na'Vi, it's it's going to be electronic outside. If he can continue to have those kind of performances where he shuts them down time and time again, influences vitality away from that outer yard, then Na'Vi's defense can really have a chance to fire up and get rolling. That's a good pistol round. Scout on simple, two SMGs, a FAMAS, and an M4. Up against unarmored pistols for the vitality side. So no real threat in this round. Could that uh, be a chance for uh, for Navi to enjoy just just a little bit of a, of a victory here? They ended the first half winning two in a row. They could be starting this one winning another two in a row here, and, and that's that's something. Even if it's against I mean, pistols, especially I mean. when you only got. Yeah, well, I mean, when you get three rounds in the first half, like anything is going to make you feel a little bit better. Even just starting 2-0 and in the second half. Shocks way back, a good old French timeout, we'll call them, as they will talk things over in a round of saving Glocks and make sure they're all on the same page heading into the gun rounds, make sure they're all focused, make sure there's no slippage in this 12-4 lead. Maybe they are having sort of a theoretical discussion. Like, guys, if, if we wanted to try and lose this, what would be... What would be the best way to oh, do it? Oh, come on. At least do a French accent. <laughs> Listen, I... I would, but... Give us a French accent, Anders. No, I can't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't dare. You know, it's... No. Hmm. It's too risky. Could be used against me later on, Jason. I'm working with Maniac. <laughs> He's right out back. Um, He's French for all, all intents and purposes. Might as well be. Boomich with a... <laughs> I'm sure he appreciates that. <laughs> Listen, he's been, he's been hanging around French Counter-Strike for too long. Can't escape now. Yeah, he's trapped. He's got no other options. We've we've really picked on Maniac quite a bit today. I feel... I know. I mean, not it's... bad. No. Um, but just, you know, an observation mostly. Just pointing it out. Just keeping, keeping it... <laughs> I think it's funny by now. I, I enjoy it. The anti-maniac strategy has been, has been working pretty well. Ooh, but simple. Not bad. Taking down RPK early on. Oh, and he's going to be running in, executing one player out in the open is Perfecto and Electronic, and they could be in a lot of trouble, and they, they will be. This is a power punch into the A-bomb side. The fight will continue. It may not be done. Simple's the last one left. He's got all oh, a grenade. He's going to throw it down. Oh, oh what hard. a win! They were just softened up enough, and a quad kill for Simple. And boy, did he need that nade. That was going to be a tough clutch otherwise. Vitality bunched up at the default plant spot. Otherwise, this is a great hit. Vitality do a good job of trading into position, but just enough is done between the Flames, the SMG, 
What a battle. Navi just six rounds away now, and the plant is denied, so not enough money for Vitality. That was amazing. That's the sort of stuff that'll get you a little bit fired up. I mean, Navi need it. They need it so badly right now. So yeah, get simple in there with the AWP. Get some double nades. Start to get electronic fired up. These things, they all matter. Again, it's a very, very long road back. But if, if, if they want us to start believing in it, and if they want them for themselves to start believing in it, then these are the elements that you need to, to actually incorporate. Flamey just jiggle peeking as soon as he sees a presence, drop the smoke, some safety for himself. He can choose to fall down if you'd like, or he can play behind that smoke. This is fake utility towards the upper bombs. I don't play behind the smoke. Oh, what a jump around the corner from Masuta. Flamey gets wrecked. No chance. He's stuck on five kills in this map so far, and the rest of his team is now scrambling to pick up the pieces. Back in towards control room. Double kill for Boomich. Perfecto's here to follow up. The bomb is being planted, or no. Apex got off it, and now the door can open. I think Perfecto could have stopped it, but he was worried about getting wrapped upon, and Apex in a one versus two. Yeah, and that smoke is a little bit annoying to them, although when they when it goes away, he's still gonna have a low percentage chance of doing this. They jump right past, and with a deagle, he's gonna get one more kill. These are some expensive rounds for Navi to be winning. The last one was a one-on-two, this one a one-on-one -on -one at the end. And they'll at least win it, but with the bomb plant, Vitality have so much money to work with, and Navi will have to spend everything in this upcoming round. Yeah, I, I don't think Navi can afford a reset at this stage in the game yet. I don't think they have enough rounds on the board to really feel comfortable getting their economy demolished. I mean, it'll never be comfortable, right? But if you can close the gap to 10-12 and get reset there, you still feel like you're within striking distance. I think that would be a big blow to morale if Navi have to spend one or two rounds not being able to battle and fight back. It's been four straight to start this second half for Navi. And if I'm honest, I mean, even just by eye test, they're looking a little bit more tuned in than they did in the first half. They look a bit more focused. Oh, no doubt. I mean, you could, you could tell there's a difference. I imagine they had a pretty serious conversation in the minutes between the halves here. Because the one thing is, you know, maybe losing a best of three, but... But you don't want to go out in that fashion, right? You don't want to go out in a way where it just feels like, wow, we really just did nothing on most of the most of the halves that were played in the game. That's that just feels unacceptable. Electronic, good damage on the side. Ooh, they're gonna try and see if they can explode into the bomb site. Yet again, a good trade on Perfecto. But Flamey's up here and Boomich is doing a lot of damage, and this time they're gonna get shot down with only Perfecto dropping. Good, nice defense, and suddenly it's eight to twelve. Still money on the Vitality side, but they're running these rounds back fairly quickly, starting the second half with a five-round uh, block of wins here. That's Gallery. Yeah, five rounds in a row. That's that's amazing. Yeah, that actually is pretty impressive. <laughs> well done from Na'Vi. Now, seven rounds stretching back to the first half, and eight of the last nine rounds go to, go to Na'Vi as well. That's a really good hold of the upper bombsite. Vitality calling it early timeout. Again, AKs are going to be picked up. They've got plenty of cash for it. Full losing bonus is in their favor. And after these buys, they still have so much money behind it. So there's going to be buys pretty much every round. Navi's going to be in a really tough grind. This is the hardest kind of comeback to make. 16 kills on Simple. It's 18 on Perfecto, the young gun of Navi leading the way. Well, we uh, we did also see Vitality sort of go missing earlier, and if it happens again, who knows what is going to actually be occurring in this game. Saiwu's got the kill already on Electronic, and Vent Diving is Apex. So this is so much control. It's a 4 on 5, but the fact that Apex is down there with no one else at all from the Na'Vi side on the lower part of the map, uh, he could spend a lot of time working this, trying to find another kill, or maybe just set up and wait for his team to show up. I don't think they know that he's downstairs, oddly enough. Nobody is indicating that they have any idea. Like, Flamey would be in a completely different position if they knew someone was downstairs. 
He could get oh flanked, God. and yeah, Boomage slowly creeping in towards the vet. Apex is able to get a freebie. Again, Perfecto called upon. Oh, but he misses the first shot. It took way too long. There was a real chance, and while Simple is alive, there's still one, but Vitality send him packing. And Flamey must save this gun and actually, I, I mean, know. I don't know. Down four rounds, he might try and go for this if he can find Apex. If Apex comes up the vent, this could be a real chance for Flamey. Yeah, I'd say go for it. I mean, they don't really have the money to lose this round. They got to have to find some way to rally the team. Why not a one on three? It's a good, as good as anything else, really. Doesn't see anyone crossing, so that's incredibly unfortunate. I guess, yeah, that's what makes the choice for him. That is a little bit of bad luck. I think I think if he was going to go for that one versus three, he would have had to make his play earlier when that much time has passed and you haven't tried to get involved in the action. That's that's when like alarm bells start splitting for vitality. That's when someone is like, OK, I need to watch the flank. Apex is saying I'm in the vents. I'll be able to peek towards squeak door, make sure no one's coming that direction. Stay hidden from mini. So vitality could have had all the options to to cover all the entrances for flamey. 8 to 13, still a bit of a buffer. Navi have plenty of money to buy in the next round. I don't think Simple will be able to have the AWP, but they should have four rifles. Yeah, which is, again, pretty great news. Actually, it looked like Apex is about to fail that spray shooting straight up, which, that would have been horrifying. Also yeah, but you can you can fail that spray for like three seconds and still and still get the kill, right? <laughs> I yeah. feel like you have you've got a pretty uh, there's a lot of forgiveness in that battle. Well, here we go. First round on the board on the second half for Vitality. If they win this next one, that might be the map in a in a pretty quick fashion, given the state of Navi's economy. If they don't, though, I mean, it's actually going to start to get kind of interesting. We're going to have to start taking it a bit more seriously as well. If now we get up to 9-13, yeah, this is suddenly a real game, even in spite of the odds, you, you have to say. Yep, you're right, entirely. Smoke wall is up, four players going to cross. Electronic is down below. Problem with this is Boomich is going to be the next rotator, which would leave a Deagle all on his own. I almost feel like you have to leave Simple alone in ramp room so those two players can be dynamic. Maybe Flamey can drop down as soon as Electronic spots somebody. The real fear is that Deagle, if they ever try and reconvene back to the upper bomb site. Indication should be coming in. A jumping Electronic spots everything. But vents are open if Vitality want to utilize it. Well, an Electronic is still down here alone. He is going to need some backup pretty soon now. There's a little bit, yeah, Flamey showing up at the ramp. That's going to help out. 38 seconds, which is going to buy them time, and they have grenades left here on the Vitality side. They can block out a lot of this. They saw Electronic earlier. They're going to grenade him and jump down on top. This is a great take. Flamey comes in with a banging triple oh. kill, taking down almost the entire lineup, and now it's a two on three. I can't believe he managed to do that. This should have been a lost round. They had every chance to do it here, Vitality, but now they've been wiped out on the site and Navi will just come home with a round. That is amazing. I saw the first and the third. I have no idea where Flamey got the second kill. Uh, did he just, like, get someone through smoke while being fortunate? What, what a crazy sequence. What a, a potentially series-saving yep. play from Flamey. I agree. Th this is huge. Yeah, so he just continues oh, right Oh, that's behind. filthy. What a fantastic play. And it, I want to point this out. Look at the contrast here between the way that Vitality took this uh, this bomb site with the way that Na'Vi were doing it. Vitality went in at around 35 seconds. They had smokes to block things off. I mean, that's what, that's the whole reason why that should have never been possible for Flamey. The fact that Flamey brought them back in that round is just unbelievable. 9 to 13 here. 23rd round outside and nearly catching simple... Gonna be quick and down. They want to see if they can follow it up. They felt like they had that. Smoke is gonna go up, but are they really gonna stick? They know that's an MP9 on the other side, but they're still gonna be slowing down. I thought maybe they'd just say, you know what? We could do this. No, the smoke keeps them honest. But now the big thing is Electronic in the warehouse becomes more powerful. He becomes very important to how this round plays out because he can watch towards Mini. If Vitality want to reconvene across the map, there's no one towards Window. There's no one at Heaven to be able to spot them out or take some shots away. Flamey's just rotating there now. But they probably feel very restricted in the staircase. They know an SMG. Ooh, pop flash peek. 
as the flames disappear, and Boomich is gonna go down. It's just simple. Off angle, out in the open. What a challenge, but he can't stand tall. An RPK lurking in from the ramp now. This should be a round winning move as well, even if a lot of damage has been dished out here to Saibu and Misuta. Oh, Flamey coming in. He's just gonna keep going. Another triple kill, surely not. He's backed up. He knows RPK is coming and he's finally gonna be dropped, but quick refrag as well. Apex is down. 30 seconds for a one on one. Flamey trying to pick up the entire Navi team and carry them back into this game. Back to back triple kills. That is just so impressive. Oh, RPK is going to book it for the upper bomb site. He's going to go up heaven. Perfecto hasn't figured it out yet, and he's just evacuated vents as well. Oh, this is going to be so difficult. He's got to start figuring it out. RPK just landing on the ground now. Plant is underway. There's the nade, and Perfecto sees everything. He knows he's been duped. What an incredible amount of responsibility on this young man's shoulders. Yeah, he's coming out. He's out of the vents quick. All he needs is a single headshot. He's now backing up just a little bit. He's got no grenades or anything to try and make this more tricky. So now it's just a question of timing. Flip a coin for who's going to have the better angle in this one. RPK has put himself in a very, very nice position. Almost catches the timing then, but now maybe Perfecto could do it. He's got the kit. He's made the jump out, and that was the big mistake. He's going to be going down. RPK for a triple in reverse, and for everything that he did there, Flamey, it is just not enough. I'm so impressed, though. That's... That's very hard to do what Flamey has been doing the last two rounds here. Oh god, they walked into well, that I mean, shot. this is... Uh, yeah, they... I mean, let's be honest, that's how almost the first sequence should have played out. It was a great triple kill from Flamey, but still so many advantages for Vitality. So you see it again. This hit from Vitality is so effective that the, even the miracle that Flamey provides is not... You know, you can't replicate it. Even as good as a triple kill is in that scenario, so hard to steal back-to-back -back rounds in that fashion. 14 to 9, and that that does terrible things to the Navi economy. It's a technical timeout, as you could tell. But in a second, when it continues, they are not going to have really anything to work with. Oh, man. I don't know. There, there are, I'm, I think we've made our opinions pretty clear about Navi and how they go missing and how that's a problem, I mean, now and in the future. But Vitality also, I mean, with the kind of lead that they had, you have, you know, you'd want them to get back earlier in this game, right? It's a 12 and 3 first half. And they, they let go of a fair few rounds early on before they really start uh, getting back into this. Yeah, but this, this should be, I mean, I, I don't know what Navi decides to do during this tech pause. I would imagine they're thinking about it at the moment. Boomich has just come back into the server, but... There's there's no money. Perfecto has the most cash at 3,600. Boomich and Electronic are sitting at 2K. Flamey's at 2,300. I don't know what Navi thinks they're going to be able to buy, but what a difficult decision to make at 9 to 14. Yeah, and truly. They're going to force up here. So they're they're all in on this round. And I guess now you can have that. We can kind of you know theorize about that conversation of saying. Man, if Navi had just had two more rounds in that first half. Yeah. Yeah, just a couple of more things going their way. Yeah, it is it is close. 9 to 14 is not such a bad scoreline, but when you have no economy, you're buying an auto shotgun and an M4 and a little bit more to try and uh, see if you can bring this back on online. If they win this round, though, yeah, I mean... There's a chance. There is a way. I don't. Re I can't blame them for even trying to force up into this round. I. I don't know what the better choice would have been. Well, here we go. Round twenty-four. Navi desperately, desperately needs a miracle. Ooh, if they rush ramp against Third the map, auto shotgun. Third five-round lead for Vitality. Yeah, that might be the hope, but it, unfortunately, it's going to be the CZ. It's going to be the shotgun on top. They haven't spotted Perfecto. One to the face of RPK, but it's all over. So quickly, so decisively. Electronic and Flamey to try and come in for a retake, but I don't even know if that's doable. They might just want to try and get, grab an AK-47 for the final round. And even that doesn't look like it's going to be happening. Uh, b interesting call for, uh, for Vitality rushing the A bomb side. I mean, I think the... The thing that speaks in favor of it is you know they're not going to have all the Molotovs to slow you down. But obviously the problem is you could have an odd stack and that could really backfire. But this was definitely working well. 15 to 9. And now V about to need five or six rounds in a row to just bring it into overtime. 
with absolutely zero economy as well behind it. That is, it's just so unlikely here. What a crazy game this has been. I, it's very hard to sum up exactly what this has felt like throughout these three maps, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. It, to, if I had to sum it up, I guess I would just, just say it leaves you wanting more. Like, we had one really good half out of Na'Vi, and that's what you want more of, and it's a shame, you know, when we got into this series, I mentioned both of these teams are kind of in the same position in my mind of like which one's going to show up. We've seen the really good and the really bad out of both of these teams throughout Blast Premier. And unfortunately today, the really good from Vitality has showed up and the really bad from Navi has showed up. And that's just that. And this is this is the consequence. Overpass was a blowout. This map, despite a late somewhat comeback, has been a blowout based off that first half from Navi. It's I don't know. Navi's still a really painful team to be to be a fan of, I would imagine. I my heart goes out to all of all of you Navi fans. Shout out to shout out to Banks. He's probably <laughs> off crying yeah. in a corner somewhere. Very very likely at the moment, yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a wild roller. Let's get him ride. back on cam. <laughs> Yesterday we had him in the Navi jersey flexing after the prediction win. Let's get him today. In Navi jersey, tears streaking down his face. Sobbing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you may get your wish later on. We'll have to find out. 25th round here. You see the MP9, the pistols. And it doesn't re it doesn't inspire a lot of confidence, does it? No rush to the A bomb site this time for Vitality. Instead, setting up in the lobby. Sharks holding outside and making sure there are no crazy flanks coming in. And why not wait? Why not let them use whatever smokes they had early on? If they had a Molotov, that's probably going to be gone in a couple of seconds too, so... While you're doing that, you could just wait and set it all up. Utility outside. Shock Zaiwu and Masuta heading in that direction. Slowly but surely, the wall has plumed. There's no one watching the cross at all. The closest is Electronic and Mini. Boomich is already downstairs. Utility to the upper bomb site. RPK is dinked, but this is not the main attack. This is all a fake. Yeah. They're pulling Navi in different directions, and now the lower bomb site is the final target, and it's under heavy attack. Yeah, Boomich saw it, but I'm pretty sure they saw him as well. He's alone just now on the ramp. Flamey, but it doesn't have the tool that he had last time to get that triple. He's going to get one anyway. Great kills here. Three for one trade in favor of Navi, and now just 10 seconds. The bomb is being planted right now, but it's going to be a kill right afterwards, and they win the round. Very unlikely circumstances. A team ace coming out here for Navi to get 10 on the board. Yeah, they got in a position just at the perfect moment. Nice recovery from Navi. Still a long way to go, but they've got to be happy about the three picked up AK 47s. Unfortunately, they've got another buy or two to burn through for Vitality. Yeah, those AKs, I especially want to see... Well, Flamey's got an M4 instead, but... See if Flamey could save them another time. He would... He's a bit of a hero right now. Perfecto also, obviously, honorable mentions, 22 kills. He's actually ahead of everybody in the game right now, which, which is even hard to believe. Now they're gonna go for it. A side attack. Flashbang early on on Boomage, but he could see everything. Perfecto. Big double kill. And Vitality not doing anything at all in this round. That is a nice hold. It's gonna get Navi to 11 rounds here. As they will take the final kill. A triple, a quad, in fact, on Perfecto, pushing him all the way to 26. Yeah, he's been a, he's a, being a beast in this game, and that's nicely done from Na'Vi. They don't flinch. There's an execute out of Vitality. They wait a few seconds for the counter utility to disappear, and the follow-up execute is pretty dangerous, but the first two kills go the way of Na'Vi and kind of remove the teeth from that attack. Four rounds back now. <laughs> and Na'Vi, or excuse me, Vitality is going to descend to Deagle and Armor on a couple players, or just Deagles on four players, and Apex with an AK-47. But they're a little bit low on funds. They just have more breathing room to play with. This rest of this game, four more rounds for Na'Vi must be mistake-free. Yeah, and Vitality are living in that zone where 
you know, all you're thinking is just one good opening, one little thing going our way. We could call it a day. I, I'm actually scared to find out what this game would feel like in overtime because it's already been just way too crazy. This bit's been really hard to to really comprehend what's been happening in this best of three. If it goes into overtime, who knows? Flamey pushed off the angle, but not dead. That's really the most important thing here. Could fall back down. They've got almost dead. Three people down at the B-bomb side for a minute there. They were almost over-rotating. Yeah, there we go. Look at them. Three people down there. If they get Apex the entry... going to lead the way, though. Yeah, he will. If they get the entry on the A-bomb side, this could be huge. They could at least get a bomb plant and maybe even do some damage. Perfecto, though. He's a rock at this side. Apex inside with a bit of a return. So now, bomb plant looking very possible. In fact, no one's going to be there to stop it. Simple has to wait for a couple of teammates here. Three on three. And this would be so crushing for Na'Vi if they can't find a way through on this round. Apex gets a kill. Taking down Electronic. All they had was the one AK-47. And it could have been enough. Flamey now trying to save his team for a third time and he gets dropped.